And now it's time for our arts and culture segment with our Iteho. So uh, let's bring in Teho for this segment. Good afternoon to you, Teho. Good afternoon. Now uh, the weekend is upon us, and um, of course we're feeling the coldness already, and it's going to be a cold one this weekend. So we'd like to know what we can do with our friends and families indoors this weekend. Well, you know, you're in luck because there's plenty to do this weekend, starting with some great exhibitions that are perfect for this, the Year of the Horse, uh, that is set to begin in just a few short weeks here. Mongolian contemporary artist Adia Bazar Chadrabal is creating art on the fly for audiences. And the result? An image filled with the strength and spirit of the blue horse. You can see his work at an exhibition titled Age of the Blue Horse that is currently running at the Lotte Gallery in Sogongdong, Seoul until February 3rd. The exhibition was organized to commemorate the Year of the Blue Horse and features 28 artists from Korea, Mongolia and Australia. The 70 works of art on display offer a modern interpretation of the horse in the form of paintings, sculptures, and installation art. And running until the 11th of January is the invitation exhibition that features 20 different sculptures highlighting both the grace and strength of the horse. The exhibition is by sculptor Trail, who was captivated by horses on his first trip to a horse race. The shock I received from the images at the horse race was a source of inspiration for me. Horses can be so soft and gentle, while at the same time so sleek and nimble. And right now at the National Folk Museum of Korea is the exhibition Horse, a Vigorous Gallop. Since ancient times on the Korean peninsula, horses were considered spiritual creatures that dragged the souls of the dead to become great figures in their new lives. And this is the way in which horses are depicted at this exhibition, which features 60 different works of art, literature and artifacts that represent horses in Korean culture and history.